Welcome back to Science Sundays. And as we fall back with the time change today, this is also the peak of our fall colors here in Kern County. Now you've seen the leaves changing for a few weeks and past this point, you'll see more of them fade and fall. So let's investigate the three factors that influence autumn leaf color, leaf pigments, the length of night, and the weather, of course. So let's start with those leaf pigments. During the growing season, all the colors are present in the leaf, but green is dominant due to chlorophyll production. Chlorophyll is necessary for photosynthesis, the chemical reaction that enables plants to use sunlight to manufacture sugars for food. As the length of night increases in the autumn, chlorophyll production slows way down and then stops, and eventually all the chlorophyll is destroyed. The carotenoids and anthocyanin that are present in the leaf are then unmasked and show their colors. And now to the length of night. The timing of color changes and the onset of falling leaves is primarily regulated by the calendar as the sun angle lowers and therefore the intensity of sunlight decreases. So as the days grow shorter and the nights grow longer and cooler, biochemical processes begin in the leaves. The veins that carry fluids into and out of the leaf gradually close off and a layer of cells forms at the base of each leaf. These clogged veins trap sugars in the leaf and promote production of anthocyanin. Once this separation layer is complete and the connecting tissues are sealed off, the leaf is ready to fall. So how does the weather then affect autumn color? Well, the amount and brilliance of the colors that develop in any particular autumn season are related to weather conditions that occur before and during the time of the chlorophyll in the leaves as it's dwindling. Temperature and moisture are the main influences there. For temperature, a cooler pattern or succession of warm, sunny days and cool, crisp, but not freezing nights seems to bring about the most spectacular color displays. During these days, lots of sugars are produced in the leaf, but the cool nights and the gradual closing of veins going into the leaf prevent these sugars from moving out. So these conditions, lots of sugar and light, spur production of the brilliant anthocyanin pigments, which tint reds, purples, and crimson. Because carotenoids are always present in the leaves, the yellow and gold colors remain fairly constant from year to year, even if it's a warmer pattern with more clouds and milder nights. Like the weather, soil moisture varies greatly from year to year. A late spring or a severe summer drought, sound familiar, causing dry conditions, can delay the onset of the fall colors by a few weeks. A warm, wet spring, seasonal summer weather, and warm, sunny fall days with cool nights should produce the most brilliant autumn colors on an expected timeline. Now find me on social media to share photos of our fall colors around Kern County and teachers and homeschooling parents can head over to our website turn to 23.com forward slash science Sundays to learn more about the science of fall colors and get some great fall color activities and printables too. We'll see you next week.